Hello everyone! Oh, welcome to an Unfiltered Gamer playthrough video. I'm Callie, here tonight with Alicia. Hi. Max. How's it going? And Caleb. Hello. And we are going to be playing Cactus Town by Second Gate Game. It is a game for ages 7 and up, 2 to 4 players, and takes about 20 to 60 minutes to play. We are each playing a different characters in Cactus Town with different objectives that we are trying to reach. And we will show you now the top down so you can see how it plays and how it functions. And we'll explain the rules as we go, as well as our different win conditions. So let's get started in Cactus Town. Here is the top down view of the game. You'll see we have laid out and set up the game already. Then we have our five by five grid. We are playing the with some of the advanced variants in the game, including the cactus variant, the gunslinger mode with the special building effects, and the ace up your sleeve different tokens as well. So I am playing as the can-can dancer, and I have a certain objective, which is to pay off my debts and win three different duels. Max is playing as the sheriff, so he has three different sheriff characters, and his objective is to capture two of the outlaws and put them safely in jail. And Caleb's objective as the outlaws is to gather his loot with two of his outlaws and successfully escape the town by one of the outside areas there. And Alicia is the bounty hunter, and she wants to capture one of the outlaws that Caleb is playing and steal two horses in order to win. We each have different characters, different abilities. We each have different standees on the board and different setup configurations um, from the deck there. And uh, we'll be starting shortly. All right, before we get started, we're going to take off all of these standees here so you guys can see the characters on the top down view. And we'll be placing them as if they're they're on the little buildings here so we can see them all. And you'll notice this handy card here, which shows us the setup configuration as well as the turn order. So the sheriff always starts and then we'll go and clock we've sat ourselves in clockwise order so it'll be easy to uh, continue. So the sheriff's going to start and but while while he's starting we're all gonna as well look at our different cards action cards here and program three different cards for us to use during this round so we're going to look down and think what do we want to do there's different movement abilities including run sprint we can duel there's multiple actions on each card and we're going to choose one of those actions when we reveal it so you do have a little bit of flexibility sometimes with different action cards. I'm going to place mine down here. And now everyone has programmed their actions for the round. And Max is going to start by revealing his first action. My first action is going to be a dash action with my three sheriffs and deputies. So you're going to run, and you can run with up to three characters. So when you run, wait a second, you're going to, so you move this character here. You can move orthogonally when you move. And since it's the run, you're going to reveal what this uh, location is. Because stuff could happen when it is revealed. The first reveal is the bank. Okay, and what happens on the bank card is we have the cactus icon. So when um, someone ends their movement there, you're going to move the cactus. So what the cactus does is it's going to block one of the spaces completely from anyone being able to enter or move. So you have to place it on a card, it can be revealed or not revealed, that has no tokens on it. All right, there I'm we go. I'm going to put the cactus there. Second movement I'm going to have, I'm going to be moving right to this one. Yep, and you can move up to three characters. So you don't have to move all of them, but you can if you'd like. On that one as well, you're, when you end your character there, your character ends their movement there, you're going to move the cactus. Would you like to or not? I'm going to leave the cactus where it is for the time being. All right. I'm going to move my last one right above. Okay, nice. Revealing a lot of the board is, is useful for the rest of us because yep. we're I'm, looking for certain <laughs> certain uh, locations. And I'm and going to leave the cactus where I have it put. Okay. Next, Caleb, reveal your first uh, <clears throat> action. Run. All right, you're going to run, and how many characters can you run with? Three. 
Okay. Up to three characters can run. And when you run, you're revealing the location. Let's see what it is. I gotta look at what it is for my character. So what does this mean? Okay, so that means when it is revealed, you'll be able to sprint with one character. So when you sprint as opposed to run, you're not going to reveal the location that you sprint through or sprint onto. So you do that right now before you continue any of your other movement. And it can be that one or a different one. Yep. Okay. Uh, so up to three characters. Correct. Would you like to run with any more characters? So Caleb is looking for certain locations that are going to have the loot that he's looking for. He needs to get his characters there, pick up the loot, and then skedaddle, get out of here. Okay, and that one says when it's flipped over, you can run with one of your characters. Isn't it the same one you sprint? No, so sprint has a little squiggly line, and uh, run has the straight arrow. Okay. <clears throat> Um, okay. And then one more. So you have another run here that you can use. That I can use. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Getting close to the sheriffs there. Okay. Well, that has a cactus. Yes, so now you can move the cactus if you would like. Wherever I want, or it has, it has to, be to be moved to there? It has to be an unoccupied location. Oh, okay. Face down or face up. And that will block it from anyone being able to enter. So, you might be but able to... But it'll block me from going through it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just leave it there. Alright. And that's it for your movement. Now Alicia reveals. I run. Right. Two. So I'm going to make one guy go this way. Mm-hmm. Cactus. All right. Oh, this might be good. You can move Let's the cactus see. somewhere. I'm going to put the cactus here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then this guy is going to go this way. All right. The station. So when it's flipped over... You can move one other character standee one space ortho orthogonally. So up, down, left, right. Does so it not yours. Revealed? It has to be someone else's. See oh. how it's black instead Somebody of white? Else. Yeah. So Alicia's objective is to capture the bandits. Or it's outlaws. So maybe she wants... <laughs> yep. <laughs> and since it's a run action, it's actually going to reveal what's here. I'll flip this over. And there's another one. So now Caleb, because your character revealed this, you get to move one other uh, character standee one space. Oh, I can move anybody's? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so I not can, yourself. I can do this. Yes. <laughs> and so that, that will reveal it since it's a run. Wow, we're, we're revealing, revealing everything. everything. <laughs> okay, we've got the casino. So this one... Uh, Alicia is going to get one of these icons, which is the reload. Man, maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Alicia wants to capture two of the outlaws. Sorry, one of the outlaws and and steal two horses. Okay, my turn. I'm going to reveal. I'm. I chose run as well. Let's go over here. <laughs> and since I end my turn here, I can move the cactus. I'm going to move the cactus. Let's. Let's go here. <laughs> and now it's back over to Max, the sheriff. What's the sheriff going to do? My second card is going to be, I am sneaking with my three, well, yep. up to my three. I'm going to move my sheriff there, uh -huh. my deputy there, and can I move up into his? Yes, he can. And that one. So, and then make sure we look at the cards too. Oh, okay. Those I have nothing. And this one so has nothing. One. Okay. Yeah. Caleb, your turn. So I can duel or I can. No, that's all I can do. Okay. 
So when you have your dual action that you're choosing to use, you look on the board where there are two standees and one is yours, or two or more standees on a space, and one is yours, and then you can choose to duel there. If I lose, I get stunned. Yeah, but if you have a good <laughs> card, then you get to move. So if, if Caleb wins the duel, he'll get to move the sheriff up to three spaces away, which is very handy. Yeah, why not? Because I'm sure Max has a duel. Okay, so let me go through the process of a duel. This is the first duel. So now if anyone had any tokens, so it's early in the game, I don't think uh, you guys do, you take the tokens into your hand, place them out, three, two, one, reveal. We would go through the effects of the token. Uh, then the next part of the phase will roll your die. So each one of you will roll your die. I think we also use the extra wild That will card. be after the die roll. After the die roll. You can choose Six. to use it. Oh! Okay, oh. so Caleb <laughs> rolled a one, and <laughs> Max rolled six. So, uh, Caleb, as the attacker, would you like to use your extra bullet card? <laughs> Probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then Max, no Won't need be to. Necessary. Yes. Okay, so now. Caleb's little outlaw here is now stunned. We're going to put it to the side to note that he is stunned. He can now be picked up by either Alicia or Max and captured <laughs> or put or sent to jail. Next up, Alicia's turn. What are you I doing? I can either steal a horse, <laughs> sneak, or draw a target building. I am going to draw a card. That's it. All right. I am. I have a choice, so I can uh, move up to one space diagonally and reveal it, um, pay off my debts, or pull someone towards me. Yes, I think I will pull this character towards me. Oh. Uh -huh. And. Since you end your ended your movement here, you can move the cactus if you'd like, Max. I am gonna move the cactus. Okay. Right there. Actually, no. I'm gonna move it onto the courthouse. There you go. We'll block off the corner there. And now your turn. All right. The so third card. My third card would be a dual card, but we can't at the duel. moment. Not really gonna have. Anyone to duel? Oh, we can duel I right could here. Duel you. You know what? Let's have some fun. Let's we'll do duel. it. Let's duel. So I get a plus two for the bullet on my card. Yeah. So first we check. Are we doing any tokens? No. no tokens. Okay. Roll. You have five. Five. I have three. You attacked. Are you going to reveal your extra card? Might as well. My <laughs> extra card has a plus three to a bullet. Okay. I will. I will not reveal mine. Now you have the choice to move. So I lost the duel, and you can move my character up to three spaces away. Nah. So I'll in leave any you. in any direction. No? I'll leave you where you are. Okay. And Caleb, your turn. Next card. Okay. So you have three different choices there. Are you able to gather your loot anywhere? Yes, I am. All right. The telegraph. Okay, this guy has some loot now on the telegraph station. Okay. And that's it. Alicia. I can sneak. Sneak. Go for it. I'm going to go this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pretty good. This way. Nice. All right. My turn. I'm going to duel. Rematch, Max. You should, probably should have moved me away. So, Should token, no yeah. token, roll, six, six. Oh, really, no. and one. <laughs> Why are the Ching, sheriff bang, good bang. guys rolling so well? Not fair. It's okay. because I have the sheriff and the deputy. The law is on my side. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And now you can move me up to three spaces away if you like. Yeah, because you wanted <laughs> to go for the duel again. I'm going to move you three spaces I, I had it programmed left. already. So, I'm going to put you with Alicia and Caleb. Everyone over here? Yep. Okay. So you can you can do it uh, different diagonal. I mean, not diagonal, but no, I'm just different direction. Okay. So, so because this is going to reveal 
Yeah, I want to duel people and win. This is going to reveal this card here. And when it is There's revealed, I get a trap token. So this one I can basically use it when someone is ending their movement turn and say, no, 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 no. I cancel your movement and you have to go back to where you were. So that can be used anytime someone moves. And that's it. That's everyone's action. Mm -hmm. So we'll take up our cards back into our hand. Now Caleb will be the first player. Go ahead, Caleb. Start us off. I can return a stunned outlaw upright. All right. So now <laughs> Max is going to have to stun him again in order to try to jail this little outlaw here. Go ahead, Alicia. I run. Nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> And I am going to duel right over here. Let's see, who should I duel? Um, let's duel Caleb. He had terrible rolls as well. So do we have any tokens <laughs> to use? No. <laughs> and now we roll. A one. A two. Okay, so I, I've i started the duel, so I go first. And I think I'm going to try to guarantee this so I can get one of my duels done. And I have plus three, so that's five. So you probably, yeah, don't want to reveal your card. Okay, that allows me, as a winner of a duel, to flip over one of my tokens. Yay! And that will stun Caleb this way. Okay. And now Max's turn. All right. So my first card is my wild card which will allow me to do any of my actions. Considering Caleb had just unstunned his guy. Mm -hmm. That's actually a good point. You could do a run. You could do a, a sneak. You could stun him again. Yep, you could try to duel him there. Yep, that's actually my best bet. Because even if I move here, he'll be able to get away. Before he's, well, he's already got the loot he's got there. He's got his though. loot, but I have, uh, but I would have to be able to attack him before he moves. So, which is highly unlikely. So I'm going to attack the other bandit, okay. the one that I am in with at the time. Ah, so, uh. so as the attacker, you can reveal your bullet card first if you'd like. Yeah, plus, plus two. two, so that. Max is at six. Caleb's at five. Yeah, I don't think so. Caleb adds three for eight. <laughs> All right. And so. Caleb escapes. So now, Caleb, you can push uh, Max up to three spaces away. And it's like a three movement. So you go zigzag however you want. Basically, you're able mm -hmm. to get, get the sheriff or deputy far away from you. So one, two, three. Okay, that will reveal that card, so something might happen. It's the tailor. So when you end your movement on the tailor, you get a peace pipe token. All right. So there you go. Can come in any later. Mm-hmm. Now it's Alicia's... No, wait, wait. Caleb. Caleb's turn. Run. Run away. <laughs> You can leave, and you'll be one closer to your objective. How can I leave? You leave off the board. Yep. Oh. Because okay. you, have, you have your loot and your guy. That's all you need, and you need to use the run to okay. get off of the so, outside. And one there. Okay. Nothing happens so there. So if I end okay. my turn there, I can... No, this was when it's oh, revealed. Oh, when you reveal it. Okay. Yeah. I duel, but... Um, you can duel me if you want. I don't want to. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. All right. I am going. To, I'm going to run. We'll go this way here. My turn. Yes. My second card is a run action. Oh, sorry. When I end my turn here, one of these. So for okay. my run action. He is going in there. Mm -hmm. 
This one is going to the sheriff's office. And this one, I'm going to go up into the back. Yep. Do you and move you the can, cactus yes. Again? So you ended your turn there, you can move the cactus. Let's put the cactus. Okay. Right <clears throat> sneak. Sneak. So the only one you can sneak with right now is this guy. Because this guy's stunned over here. <laughs> Alicia's turn. Okay. For my turn, I'm going to capture. Okay. So he goes to my area? Or what? Sure. And then this, so this token notes that you have a captured uh, bandit with you, with that character. Because the sheriff could duel you and then... Um, or anyone could duel you, and then that um, Caleb would be released. And I have to, what, put him in the sheriff's office? No, nope. you have to, you want to keep him, and you want to, now you want to steal two horses so you can escape. Oh. And just steal, immediately, when you have all three items, you win. My turn. I'm going to sneak. I'm going to, it's fine, I'm sneaking over here. Okay, mm -hmm. no worries, no worries. Mm-hmm. And... Um, Ma uh, yeah, Max. Alright, my final card is a duel. I am going to duel with Alicia. Alright. So, so first that. wait before you roll the die. Grab any tokens you'd like from your behind your screen. Place your hands out. And three, two, one, reveal. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, now roll. Two. 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 <laughs> so the attacker gets to choose. You've already used your bullet. So yep. you cannot. Alicia, would you like to? Sure. One, and Alicia wins. So you can push um, Max's character way up to three spaces. There you go. Ooh and that's the end of this round. Does he move the cactus? Um, oh, yes, he does. Okay. Sorry. All right. Move the cactus. Move the cactus. I'm going to leave the cactus right where it is. Okay. All right. And then the first player token moves to Alicia. So we're programming what we want our next turns to look like. Okay. And Alicia starts. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Get some more places you can steal horses from. That's it. Okay. I am going to duel. Max, come on. Okay, wait first. Grab any tokens you'd like. And reveal. What do you have? Peace, Peace pipe. pipe. Okay, so we're not going to duel. <laughs> so that gets discarded. And actually, it's removed from the game, so it. it cannot be used again. Your turn, Max. My first one is I'm going to sprint. I'm going to sprint up, revealing this card. Mm -hmm. It is a cactus. Move the cactus if you'd like. Um, I am going to leave the cactus as where it is. I'm going to move here, and then I'm also going to reveal this one, which gives me a bullet token, please. Thank you. Yep. And that will add plus one to your duel. Yep. <clears throat> That's my turn. A loot card. Because I am on the library. All right, your second outlaw has its loot. <laughs> He's poised to escape. <laughs> oh no, there's no one there. <laughs> Alicia, okay. you have something crazy? No. <laughs> you can't ever move two spaces. <laughs> I'm just going to move this guy in there. Okay, you have one more. You can move up to two of your guys. Yeah, I'm just going to move that guy. Okay. You don't want to move? I can't make it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You never know how someone programmed their their movement. I'm going to go. I'm going to sneak down here. And I'll move the cactus. Um, ah, no, that's probably a pretty good spot for it. Okay, that's it. Go ahead. All right. My second card is going to be a duel, which current second, Nobody I duel. have no one to duel, so. Run, I escape. 
Oh, and Caleb, Caleb escaped. <laughs> he escaped with a two outlaws. They grabbed the loot and he ran and hightailed it out of Cactus Town. So that's Cactus Town. You can see we all had different objectives we were going after, and the outlaws proved that evil, evil can can <laughs> get you some good loot sometimes and get escape. As long as they divide and conquer. <laughs> what do you think, Alicia? It was a cool to program movement. I think that is the funnest aspect for it mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. I like the, yeah, I think the cactus and the advanced mode cards uh, add a lot as far as getting some different items. I wish I'd been able to get some more tokens that would help, help me duel better since that was my main action I was trying to do. But uh, I liked playing the, some of the different characters and how they, they play differently. And it depends on who you're playing with as well. What do you think, Max? I really enjoyed this game. I like the programming aspect with cards. Mm -hmm. Having three sheriffs and deputies that you can move around to try to corner in somebody. was able to do that, get things done, but it just so happened that Caleb's cards put him <laughs> on the edge, which allowed him to be able to escape, which That's was so That's why you don't want to reveal a lot in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, you revealed a lot of cards. <laughs> not the only one. Uh-huh. Well, we want to reveal them because yeah. we're looking for things with the with our target <laughs> cards. Mm -hmm. I was about to get my first uh, paying off my debt. What do you think, Caleb? Winner? I like the advanced mode because the cactus came in handy when I <laughs> needed it. Um, I also like the cards where you can push another character away from you, which makes yeah. it easier for the outlaws to escape. So that was good for my gameplay. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a little bit of luck with what, yeah. what places you reveal, but it kind of makes you want to reveal them as well. You get those extra actions sometimes, which was really awesome. Anything else to add? No, no? that's okay. it. This Cactus Town is available online and we'll have the link down in the description. You can check it out. And there's also um, with the Kickstarter version and there's some different cards and or maybe it's an expansion that we'll have uh, information on as well. This is Cactus Town by Second Gate, Gate Games. Ages 7 and up, I think that's about right. Um, I, I'd recommend it for that. Maybe even a little older, especially with the advanced. But you could play the more basic version uh, with some younger um, children. And 2 to 4, I think 4 is where it's at really. Um, it's great. You get all of the different interactions of the different uh, types of characters and different objectives and all of that. 20 to 60 minutes. Yep, sounds about right. It can get really quick once you know what you're doing. You reveal, you move, you do the thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out our other videos on the channel, Unfiltered Gamer. You can subscribe if you'd like to see more playthrough videos. And while you're down there, place a like on this video. We appreciate it a lot. Let us know in the comments uh, what you think about the gameplay, if this is something you'd pick up and you're interested in. I think it's great, great for families and um, different types of people who'd like to play this kind of programmable movement. It's a very spatially um, awareness, having to multi-step problem solve and plan ahead. Uh, check out unfilteredgamer.com right now for some giveaways going on and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and as always we look forward to seeing See you guys, guys next time. time.